Hi, this is Dennis with EDU 709. It is Thursday, March 28th, I believe here. Spring break, 2019. Of course, Central Michigan University Global Campus students don't actually get a spring break. We're, we're working, uh, but many people in our nation, including in Michigan, are on spring break. And I'm excited about Module 4 as it relates to Module 5. So we are researching an innovative use of technology and then we are going to create an innovative use of technology. And so let me be very concise and say that LMS stands for Learning Management System or Systems, singular or plural, but LMS, it's a software, it's a technology, it's a digital tool, it's an educational tool that allows us to create resources. A learning management system tool enables us to do what it implies. We create online digital resources for learning. It can be called course building. You build a course, kind of like Blackboard. Uh, it's a shell, it facilitates the learning of many topics through different course experiences that students take through universities, colleges, and even in uh, secondary education, particularly in high school, Blackboard is used. But it allows you, LMS, to, uh, I mean, in a broad way, you can do many things with it, but the, the point I want to hit on is the purpose of LMS, while it is Conceptually, it's very broad what you can do with it. The purpose of harnessing LMS is actually very narrow. You want, whether you're in educational environments in terms of K-12, K-16, and beyond in graduate and doctoral work uh, with students and learners and so on, wherever you are in that realm of education with core academic subjects such as language arts and mathematics and social studies, very, very many other subjects. I don't know if that's good grammar, very, very many other, but you get my point. There are so many topics that we use in education, but that's not the only realm where we use LMS. You see, the corporate world uses LMS because they have to train their employees. They have to essentially educate their clients, and so on. And then you think of other unique industries or career fields, technical fields, uh, specifically the medical health profession field. Um, there's so much training that has to occur on many levels. And I think that's what I mean by broad. LMS can be used in a broad way as far as what it can communicate. Uh, but yes, there, and even in government, you know, nonprofit, government, etc. these areas of life. So there's many sectors, if you will, many areas in society where we have to communicate information. And K-12 education is, is one small part of that. Now, I'm saying this to say that the narrow purpose of using LMS in any of these contexts, in any of these areas that I've just mentioned, it's a narrow purpose in that you want to create a very helpful, user-friendly experience that is unique to each user, to each student. Meaning, they can log in with their own ID. That's the first thing. And of course, that doesn't set necessarily set apart LMS uh, from other experiences on the internet because there are many websites you could go to like when you pay your electric bill you know you can log in and of course maybe LMS is used for that I'm not sure uh, but specifically for for creating courses for creating training for creating lessons within units that students or employees etc can go to and learn from uh, you want that user-friendly experience. That's what LMS allows you to do in terms of the narrow purpose I'm speaking about. They log in, 
It guides them through what they need to be doing in terms of it keeps track of their progress. 0%, 80%, 90%, 100%. You know, how far along are they in what they're supposed to be supposed to be learning in terms of whatever whatever content is within the course or within the unit? You know, what lessons are in that course that you've created with LMS uh, in terms of the multimedia, whatever the students, the user, is supposed to be viewing and participating and engaging in and with, the LMS software allows you to put that all together in one place and it keeps track of the students, of the user's progress as they navigate through and engage with the content that I'm speaking about here. And so this is awesome uh, because when they're completed with a course, for example, it will tell them they're 100% completed and then ideally they can print out a certificate showing they completed whatever it was you wanted them to complete. So this is what I'm excited about for Module 4 and Module 5, learning about LMS. There's a company specifically I'm going to be using and I still have to confirm with Dr. Ming uh, because I know for Module 4 we need two uh, cases as well as two lessons for module five um, but I know lifter LMS is the one company I am researching and I've already had an online meeting uh, a one-to-one -one personal um, basically a web conference with the co-founder of the company uh, I believe they're based out of California his name's Chris Badgett he lives in Maine so New England but I think he said there's maybe eight of them on their team and they're from different areas, different sectors of life in terms of computer science, and education, and, and so on. Uh, and so they have this really nice company, this product called Lifter LMS. And that's what I'll be, at least in the one case I'll be researching. Uh, but the ultimate purpose of my research for Module 4 and then creating a resource that is you that it that uses LMS is is what I'm striving to do is to in fact learn about learning management systems. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I'm just brainstorming, thinking uh, in this video right now. But I know I have a lot to learn, and I know that it can be used. This knowledge can be used for many many things in terms of creating resources to help people to learn uh, for profit as well as not for profit. In, business, ministry, so many things we can, as, edu as educators, business-minded pe people, uh, wherever we find ourselves in life, I know for me, LMS is going to be an incredible tool and I need to learn it and EDU 709 is compelling me or forcing me to actually learn more about it uh, because I need to so that I can start using it. Uh, together with my wife and children as a grassroots uh, entrepreneurial family, if you will, so that we can start to market some resources in the years ahead. And to do it with passion and with joy. That's what it's all about, living with a purpose. And so I'm very thankful and I look forward to learning more from my classmates and Dr. Ming as we uh, work through. Now we're about almost halfway through this course and I look forward to what's going to occur here for all of us. Many blessings.